Joining me is Lou Parker, former Miss USA. How has the pageant evolved from your time on stage to now? Well, it's been 30 years, which is really scary to even say for myself, but in a way it hasn't evolved. It's, it, it has evolved, but at the same time, we're doing the same hard work. Uh, we, I, I can see what the girls have been doing in terms of charity, uh, taking care of themselves, self-care, and determination to set a goal and follow through with it. And that's essentially what the Miss USA pageant is about, is being understanding who you are and presenting that to the world and i sitting in the stage in the judges seat last night i felt that you know it's it's essentially the same obviously things have changed things have evolved um, but it's really nice to see that the the tradition is still there a lot of the contestants tonight might be looking to have a career in the media and mm -hmm. following your time as miss usa you've been able to have a very successful career yeah. so how would you encourage the contestants to leverage this experience tonight to, to have that I would say, well, obviously, as Miss USA, doors open um, and utilize that. Meet as many people as you can and also find your purpose. Find what you enjoy because life goes by really fast. And so if you can find a career in broadcast journalism or if it's PR or whatever people are wanting to do, whoever wins, is to really, I really truly believe in finding the purpose first and then utilizing your talents and the title. Miss USA has been in the media a lot lately. There's been lots of changing of hands, undergoing different ownerships. And for better or for worse, you know, a lot of eyes are on the pageant right now. So what made you want to participate and be a part of this tonight? Because I'm a former and I'm proud of um, what the years and the tradition of the years have brought to, um, to people's homes. And I think people are proud of Miss USA and the title and they get excited at home and talk about it and, and they want to pick the winner. And, you know, change is good sometimes. I think, um, you know, what do they say that change and taxes are the two things that always happen, right? And we just have to, to roll with that. And I wanted to be a part of this because as a former, I'd love just to be um, here and represent like what I was and what I've become. And I hope to see that in the next winter. One more question for you, and with that said, you're going to be picking the next Miss USA tonight. That's an iconic title. What is it going to take for a woman to wear that crown? I think what the main thing is confidence in themselves, self-love and confidence. And they've all done a lot of hard work, and they're all beautiful. But I think just having that confidence and knowing that, example, when I when I was backstage in my gown, I remember saying, "Make it easy for the judges. You're the one." make it easy for them and so the energy kind of popped yes wonderful thank you so much lou enjoy your night thank you thank you thanks